two, one. Okay. We are going to do the lab of finding the centripetal force on the pig. That means we need to get the mass of the pig. We're also going to find the radius of the pig's flight and the speed of the pig. So the first thing we need to do is to find the mass of the pig. And we're gonna do that with a balance. So let's go over to the balance and get the mass. Question for you, Mr. Farakia. Yes. What is supplying the centripetal force for this pig? The centripetal force is being applied by the component of the string that is pulling, the tension of the string that is pulling towards the center of the circle. Okay, let's go get the mass. All right. Okay, this is Amy Swinehouse. And this is in grams. So we got 153.8 grams. Make sure you convert that to kilograms. Okay, now we're going to get the radius of flight. So I would say the radius for the, the middle of the pig is right at about 55 centimeters. Okay, so we've got 50, 55 centimeters for the radius. And now Mr. Peterson is going to get out his stopwatch so that we can get the time for 10 revolutions. Let us know when you're ready, yes, Mr. Ready? Peterson. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stop. And we've got a time of 17.61 seconds. And now you have to do your calculations from the Google Doc. 